How's that for a beautiful morning? I thought it was a nice start with the sound of the birds. I hope you heard them. Anyways, peace and cheers, friends. Gotta get my coffee. Excuse me, excuse me. It is almost 8. It is Tuesday. Get near hump day. Yay, yay, yay. And this one is brought to you by Ron Runnington. What a great name, Ron. Uh, hey, peace and cheers, love and harmony. What's the title? You know. I got a bit of fog today, so bear with me. But today's is a rather, just like yesterday, I got more thumbs down yesterday just because of my support for gray market, I think. But, oh well, sometimes you take a few chances to talk about the things that are important. And not everybody's going to agree with me. Today, I'm, today a lot of people won't agree with me, I think, but we're going to try it out. Uh, Ron asked me my opinion on Canada legalizing mushrooms and, uh, and other such types of psychedelics. And you know what? You may be surprised. I take the libertarian view on drugs, alcohol, tobacco, is if you want to do it, if you want to ruin or help your own life, that's your choice. I don't, personally, I don't think that psychedelics are bad for you. I think that 10, 15, 20 years from now, the sooner we legalize them, the sooner we will find out how dangerous and or not dangerous they really are, how beneficial and or not beneficial they really are. There is a lot of study that does point to the efficacy of psychedelics for mental health. And in fact, there is a lot of study to repair broken synapses by using psilocybin, that is magic mushrooms. I've tried magic mushrooms. I've tried most things. I never tried heroin, don't want to. Never ever will I try coke again. But this guy has gone through and tried some of the things. And it is, we have to get beyond the I hate this so it should be illegal kind of thing because if that were the case, I hate alcohol, I hate tobacco, I hate what it did to my family, I hate what it almost did to me, almost killed me. Um, I've been through, I've lived with alcoholics, I don't like what harm it can cause on other people. And in those cases, and those are legal things, alcohol is legal. And it causes problems to other people because we don't look after those who can't look after themselves, who get too far gone with these things. And I want to see Canada go the way of Portugal. Portugal further than Amsterdam. Amsterdam, yeah, mushrooms are legal in the personal use department. You're not allowed to sell them. You're not allowed to uh, promote them. But you are allowed to have them. And you are allowed to take them. Uh, a libertarian kind of view, as long as you hurt nobody else, then so be it. But I'm stepping on my own tongue there because if you become addicted to one of these drugs, you become a trouble to other people. And that's where the Portugal climate, the Portugal method, the Portugal method, that's where that works out better. What they did was take all drugs and move them from the criminal 
department to the health department. No longer would somebody, if somebody was doing any drug, any drug from heroin all the way down to smoking a bit of hashish, and they're not bothering anybody, and they're doing it politely and within the regulations that were set forth, not laws, regulations, then nothing happens to them. But if they're being a harm to themselves or other people, getting too high, uh, addicted, homeless, and, and getting too, you know, that kind of thing, they aren't arrested. They're taken to a hospital. They're put into the health services. And health services has done a better job at reducing dependence on heavy drugs over the past decade or so that Portugal has had their experiment going on. Addiction has gone down 30 or 40 percent. Uh, people in jail have gone way down. People using the health services went way up at the beginning, but it also went down. Costs went down because of efficiency, because of health, because Often, if people, if it's illegal, then people are doing poor. It, it was proven once that, well, proven once. I saw a story and I wish I could dig it up. There are a lot of heroin users, daily heroin users, that go to work as very high ups in our society, but they get fresh, clean heroin from health services. I don't know enough about it, but I do know that there are heroin addicts out there that do absolutely no trouble to society. They just get high on it because it's clean, because they don't have to hide, because they've got a certain... I don't know what it is, but that's where I want to get, where people's choice of libation doesn't put them into uh, into trouble and criminal and therefore hurt the rest of their family. If, if their choice of libation is hurting them or their family, then health services steps in and works on solving that. It could mean getting them off the drugs. It could mean getting them better, safer drugs so that they are not hurting themselves, that kind of thing. So am I for legalization? I am for legalize it all. I mean, if I can stand outside of my grocery store waiting for a taxi cab and have two, three people standing around me blowing cancerous cigarette smoke in my face, then why can't a guy be sitting on a corner in a park and uh, taking a few mushrooms and not causing a trouble to anybody or sit in his house and do so? You may not agree. We will talk below. So let's keep this going. And remember, more suggestions means more videos. Peace and cheers. Love and harmony.